to seventh grade solving one-step equations and we're going to work on adding and subtracting equations today. So let's look at number one. We have a plus four equals eleven. Okay, we want to solve for a. I want a all by itself. So to get A all by itself, I need to move 4 to the other side. So what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a line down through my equal sign so I know that I have two sides. And on one side I want my variable, and on the other side I want my numbers, and I'm going to solve for the variable. But whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So <clears throat> I find my variable, and I want to get it by itself. I look at the number and there's a positive 4. To cancel out a positive, I need to do the opposite. So if I have a positive 4 and I want to make it 0, I need to subtract 4. That cancels out to a 0 and leaves me with A. So whatever I do to this side, I must do to this side. So subtract 4. and then you'll have your A. Okay, let's look at number three. I know I'm skipping around, but you can pause the video and, and go back and do number two. I'm gonna work on number three. You have X minus three equals a negative two. So again, I'm going to find my variable, which is x, draw a line down the middle so I know I have two sides, and to get this to cancel out, if it's a negative 3, to get that to 0, I need to add 3, and that, cross it, that cancels it out, it's, it's 0. So I'm left with x, which is what I wanted. So whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. I'm going to add 3 and you will have your X. Let's look at number 7. H minus 4 equals so again, I want to show my sides. And I see H, and I'm going to get H by itself. I look at the negative 4, and I'm thinking I want to make that 0 because I want H by itself. So if I have a negative 4, I'm going to add 4 to get my 0. That leaves me with H equals. But whatever I do to this side, I must do to this side. So if I added 4 on this side, I must add 4 on that side, and then you get h equals 4. You must show your work. Some of these are so easy, but you must show all of your work, because when we go to two-step equations, you're going to get lost if you don't show your work. Let's look at 9. You need to pause the video and do 8 yourself and show your work. Number 9. We have W plus 5 equals 4. So again, I want W all by itself. And if I have a positive 5, how can I make it 0? Negative 5. That crosses it out, gives you W. So whatever you do to this side, you must do to this side. So I'm going to subtract 5 from 4. And you'll have what W is. down to 13. These are very easy, but we want you to show all of your work on a separate sheet of paper. Just get used to that. Okay, so 13 is a negative 14 plus t equals 26. 
variable. So again, I find my variable. I'm going to divide it up into sides because there's my equal sign. I have two sides. I want t by itself. I have to get negative 14 on the other side. So to cancel it out on this side, to make it 0, I must add 14. And that gives me 0. It cancels out. And I'm left with t. But whatever I do to this side, I must do to that side. So I'm going to add 14. And then you will have your t. Look at number 19. And it's a word problem. A cup of brewed tea has 54 milligrams less caffeine than a cup of brewed coffee. If a cup of tea has 66 milligrams of caffeine, how much caffeine is in a cup of coffee? So, the cup of tea has 66 milligrams. Uh, a brewed cup of tea has 54 less caffeine than a cup of coffee. So we're going to write the equation as C minus 54, because it has less than, it's going to equal 66. So again, Look at your sides, find your variable, and how can I get C all by itself? I've got a negative 54. How can I make that 0? If it's a negative, you do the opposite, so we're going to add 54 to both sides. This cancels out, leaves C by, my, by itself, and you'll have your... Um, caffeine in coffee. Okay. Let's look at the back. Number one on the back. The lifespan of a black bear is three years longer than the lifespan of a zebra. So I'm looking for a zebra and I'm looking at a black bear. Write an equation, addition equation that you could use to determine the lifespan of a zebra. So the zebra is what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to put an X because we're looking for the lifespan of a zebra. And we know that the black bear is three years longer than the zebra. So we're going to add three to the zebra's lifespan. And that, let's see, up here we have black bear equals 18. So three years longer than the lifespan of a zebra is your black bear. So again, I want to get my variable by itself. So how can I get x by itself? If I'm adding 3, I need to turn this into 0. I need to cancel it out. To cancel it out, you're going to subtract 3 from both sides. This cancels out to 0. Your x is left. And this would be... Lifespan. This would. Be, this right here would be the lifespan of a zebra, and I would probably put years in there. Okay. Word problems. You always have to answer in a sentence form, so make sure you do that on number nineteen and twenty. Okay. Make sure you answer those in complete sentences. Okay, number three, the lifespan of a guinea pig is eight years shorter than the lifespan of a puma. Write a subtraction equation that you could use to determine the lifespan of a puma. 
So we're looking for the lifespan of a puma. So you're going to have X because we're looking for the lifespan of the puma and we don't know it. But it's eight years shorter. Uh, the guinea pig is eight years shorter. So guinea pig is four. Oh, eight years. Because it equals four. Okay, so then if you cancel out your eight by adding it to both sides, you'll find your X. Remember to answer it in a sentence form. Okay, you should count off on that. If you have any questions, ask them on Google Classroom or we will be in um, early for tutoring in the morning. Thanks. Please submit this.